So you've done all the work of building a business, finding partners and creating your LLC, but now you need to figure out how to pay yourself in a way that is actually going to be fully compliant with the law and that doesn't create problems between you and the other LLC members. In this video, I'm going to explain everything that you need to know about paying yourself in a multi-member LLC. So if you need answers about this topic, then this is the perfect video for you. Also, don't forget to stay all the way to the end because I will be giving away one golden piece of information about paying yourself as a multi-member LLC that you're not going to want to miss. So let's dive in. All right, guys, before we get into how to pay yourself as an LLC, let's quickly discuss what an LLC is and what's the key difference between a single member LLC and a multi-member LLC. LLC stands for limited liability company and a limited liability company is a corporate structure in which the owners of the business cannot be personally held liable or pursued for debts and liabilities of the company. In other words, an LLC is a corporate structure that provides liability protection for its owners and it prevents personal assets like their houses, their bank accounts, their retirement accounts, and all these other things from being seized in the event that the business is sued or large loans are called in or other liabilities that could arise have to be paid. It's very important to know that LLCs are considered pass through entities, which means that the taxes pass through the business onto the personal tax returns of the owners. This means that people who own LLCs are only taxed once and do not have to face double taxation as the owners of certain other corporation structures do. So with an LLC, the taxes pass through the company onto the individual, but the liability doesn't. For legal purposes, the liability stays with the company. With that being said, you've heard me countless times express the importance of not commingling personal expenses and business expenses. I, as a business owner, know all too well the burden we can have financially trying to manage our money. So how do we find the time? If you're anything like me, your time is extremely limited, which is why I partnered with North One. North One is a business debit account inspired by small business owners for small business owners. And it's for freelancers and entrepreneurs who want to save time and take the stress out of business banking. It takes a little as three minutes to download the North One app to your phone and create an account with the link on the description that I have below. Once you receive your account, you'll get this business debit card so you can make secure and contactless purchases. With North One, you have all the ability to handle all of your banking needs straight from your phone or from your computer. So whether you're at home or on the go, everything you need to manage your business finances will be at your fingertips without the need to step inside of a bank ever again. And I know that I'm a little excited about that. So North One has some pretty amazing and seamless features, such as the ability to consolidate popular integrations such as Stripe, PayPal, Shopify, making it super easy to keep all your funds housed in one business account. And are you ready for this? You can even link your QuickBooks to your North One account, allowing you to quickly generate funding reports, profit and loss statements, which I will need from you, and even track your spending. And it does not end there. North One offers unlimited virtual envelopes as an automatic budgeting tool within the app. So for example, if you're looking to set aside funds for a new employee computer or payroll or taxes, this allows for a more efficient and profitable business by getting ahead and budgeting for what matters most. For example, I have an envelope set up for marketing, which I'm super excited about because I won't have to budget for it after other expenses. I appreciate that North One takes pride in being radically transparent with the customers. I appreciate never being surprised with unknown fees or struggling to understand complicated like banking jargon. North One has free ACH transfers, which I love because I'm able to pay my vendors in a timely manner. There's no overdraft fees. I get free deposits at over 80,000 locations and I have access to over 2 million ATMs. North One only charges a flat $10 a month. Guys, listen, <laughs> it's only $10 a month. So I encourage you to sign up by using the link below and those who use my link will automatically receive a $10 credit for their first month when they open and fund their first account. Thank you so much, North One, for sponsoring this video. Now back to this video. All right, guys, single member LLCs versus multi member LLCs. LLCs usually fall under one or two categories single member LLCs or multi member LLCs. Single member LLCs are LLCs that are owned by just one owner, and multi member LLCs are owned by multiple people. Most states do not restrict the number of owners a multi member LLC can have. So your LLC can have two owners, 10 owners, 100 owners. It all depends on how your business is being arranged. Now, with a single member LLC, the owner has 100% control of the business and usually runs the business by him or herself. With multi-member LLCs, the control of the business is divided among the owners. Sometimes all members get equal ownership, sometimes they do not. Also, with multi-member LLCs, they can be member managed or manager managed. Member managed means that the LLC members handle the running of the business. With member managed, LLC's majority approval is required to make legal and binding decisions 
such as the signing of contracts and taking on loans. Now, manager managed LLCs are LLCs in which certain people are appointed to run the business. These people can be some of the members of the LLC or they can be third parties. So your LLC could be member managed or manager managed. But keep in mind that whether it is member managed or manager managed, your LLC only provides financial liability protection. It does not provide criminal liability protection and it does not save you money on taxes. This means that you're not allowed to commit any crimes such as fraud or tax evasion just because you have an LLC. Paying yourself as a multi-member LLC can be a little bit different. Now that we've quickly gone over the differences between single members and multi-members LLCs, let's talk about how you actually pay yourself as a multi-member LLC. First, we need to talk about choosing ownership percentage. Choosing ownership percentage is absolutely crucial when it comes to paying yourself correctly in a multi-member LLC. Unlike with single member LLCs, where the business owners have 100% of the business, multi-member LLCs usually have divided ownership. So what this means is it's critical that you have a discussion with the other LLC members from your business to decide what the ownership percentages are going to be for the LLC. This is because paying yourself correctly and making sure that all the other LLC members are getting paid correctly depends entirely on establishing clear ownership percentages and placing that into the operating agreement. Not only do you need to come to a verbal agreement with the other members of your LLC about ownership percentages, but you also need to put these percentages down in writing, specifically in the operating agreement. Your operating agreement might not seem this important at the beginning of your business, but if your business grows and starts generating lots of revenue, and if you and the other members end up having disputes and about control later, you're gonna wish that you had taken time to map out your operating agreement correctly. So the operating agreement is crucial for a growing business. It is important to note that there is no magic number regarding ownership percentages. Every business is different. Every partnership is different. Some business owners bring capital to the table. Some businesses just bring their insight and their understanding and their clientele to the table. Every business is different and every partnership is different. So you and the other owners will have to come to an arrangement that you can all agree upon regarding ownership percentages. This is the step one when it comes to paying yourself as a member of a multi-member LLC. Let's talk about the buyout clause. It is also crucial to create a buyout clause in your operating agreement. This is because this too can dramatically affect how payments work in a multi-member LLC. For example, imagine that your LLC has four owners and you all have about 25% ownership. If one member wants to leave the LLC down the line, you have to, you have, to have a clause for who or how you buy out the other owner or what happens when the other owner wants to leave. What have you established that allows for you to even buy him out? With all the remaining members, do we split the departing members ownership percentage equally? Or will one member be responsible for buying out people who leave and accrue a greater ownership percentage than all the other members? See, this needs to be figured out and formally put into your operating agreement before you get to the point where it actually matters. Otherwise, you could be facing lawsuits galore with your other partners who you thought were all your partners that had your back in this business that was growing. And your business could suffer tremendously in the meantime. You don't want that. You really don't need that. No. Nope. So make sure that both your ownership percentages and your buyout clause are agreed upon and put them into your operating agreement as soon as you can. If you already have an operating agreement for your LLC and if you need to make changes to it, that's completely okay. You can still make changes to your operating agreement. But you're going to have to get the other members to agree to the changes and sign off on it. Sometimes this can be tricky, so it's definitely best to take care of it at the early stages of starting a business partnership. Number three is making the payments. Just like with a single member LLC, the most common way to pay yourself in a multi-member LLC is with an owner's draw or an owner's distribution. An owner's draw is essentially just money that you take out of your business's bank account and then put into your own personal bank account. Owner's draws are also commonly referred to as just distributions. This is because the money is being distributed from your multi-member LLC to the individual members of the LLC. You can do this with a direct deposit. You can do this with a check. You can do this with a transfer. You can do this with cash. Just keep in mind that the money will be taxed as personal income, regardless of how you transfer it to your personal bank account. It's still taxable income to you. Also, you need to be aware that each owner can only take owner's draws that are proportional to their ownership percentage. So to understand how this works, let's say that your multi-member LLC had four owners and the LLC generated a profit of $2 million um, in the year, okay? Let's say that two of those owners had 30% ownership each, and the other two had 20% ownership each. In this situation, the two owners with 30% ownership would be able to take out 600,000 each as an owner's draw, and the two owners with 20% would be able to take out 
400 each for an owner's draw. Now remember, guys, just because you take up to a certain amount for an owner's draw does not necessarily mean that you have to take the entire thing. In fact, it is very common for LLC owners to not take 100% of their owner's draw so that they can leave some money in the business bank account that can be used to pay bills or make investments in the business. Now, let's talk about step number four when it comes to paying yourself as a multi-member LLC. This is guaranteed payments, all right? Guaranteed payments are another option when it comes to paying yourself as a member of a multi-member LLC. Guarantee payments are similar to salaries, okay? They are a fixed amount of money that each LLC member is guaranteed to be paid per year. And you can establish this agreement in the operating agreement when you're creating the partnership. Some multi-member LLC owners receive all of their income in this way, and some only receive a portion of it and take the rest in owner's distributions or owner's draws. But I want you to remember, you will only be able to use guaranteed payments as a payment option if you know that your LLC is going to generate a certain amount of money per year. This is kind of reserved for different types of business owners who know that money is going to be guaranteed to come in. So for example, you shouldn't try to set up a guaranteed payment of $100,000 for each of your LLC members. If you have three members in your LLC and you think the LLC will only generate $250,000 in revenue. In fact, if you're going to go with the guaranteed payment option, then you should set the guaranteed payments at an amount that is considerably less than what you expect to make because you would wanna make sure that you can guarantee that those payments can actually be there. This way, there won't be any problems and your business generates less revenue than you were expecting it to. So for example, back to the example I just mentioned, if your LLC has three owners, all with equal ownership of one third of the business, and if you expect your LLC to generate, let's just say $250,000 in revenue, then you might wanna consider making that guarantee payment for each LLC member $40,000 maybe. Then you can take the rest as owner's draw. This way, even if your business doesn't generate that $250,000 that you were expecting, you won't get into trouble by not being able to afford the guaranteed payments. Now, I get asked this all the time. What about the money that you leave in the business bank account? Now that we know how to pay ourselves out of that business bank account, what happens to the money that we've left in the business bank account? You might be running. What happens to the profits that you generate? but decide to leave in the business account and not pay yourself out of, like what happens to that money? Well, the answer is that you have to use that money how you want to grow your business. But if you don't use the money, you're gonna be taxed on that money. The IRS still considers this to be income even if you choose to keep it in your business bank account to pay for future expenses or to fund future expansion. So don't make the mistake of thinking that just because you took a certain amount of distributions and left a certain amount of money in the business, that the money in the business isn't gonna be taxed. Any profits that you leave in your business bank account and do not pay yourself through an owner's draw or a guaranteed payment or another method, this could land you in hot water with the IRS because it's taxable income. And you don't want to forget that. Now, last but not least, step number five is choosing your partners carefully. I want to throw a little advice as a tax professional. Choose your partners for multi-member LLCs very carefully. This means that if one or a few of the LLC owners prove to be untrustworthy, they could take more than their fair share of their owner's draw. The last thing that you want to happen is to try to go and pay yourself from the business bank account only to find out that there's not as much money in the account as you were expecting because one of your partners withdrew some money that he or she was not supposed to withdraw or didn't communicate that they were going to withdraw to you. And now we have a little bit of a ruffle. If you discover that this is happening, it could lead to a wide variety of stressful problems, including arguments, accounting errors, tax errors, and even lawsuits. It is far better to just avoid these problems before they occur by simply having a good conversation. The best way to do this is to go into business with people you trust completely and have very transparent conversations from the start. Trust me. What percentage though, of your income should you keep in the business? I get asked this question all the time. This is probably, this is probably one of the biggest questions I get asked from LLC owners. There is no one right answer for this question. In fact, all businesses are different and have different capital requirements and they have different profit margins. For example, some businesses require the purchasing of inventory on a regular basis. They always have to restock the shelves. If your business requires the regular purchasing of inventory, then you might have to keep more money in the business bank account than if your business doesn't require the purchasing of inventory or you doesn't have a lot of significant operating expenses. You should always make sure that you choose to start a business that has a high enough profit margin in the first place. At a minimum, you should make sure that your business has a profit margin of at least 15 to 20 percent if possible, especially if you're a new small based business owner. Last but not least, and I want to make sure we talk about this. What if your business loses money? 
Unfortunately, if your business fails to generate a profit, then there won't be any money for you to pay yourself with. So you won't be able to take an owner's draw or guaranteed payments or any other type of payments because there's no money there, right? However, you will still be able to deduct your expenses and your losses. So make sure that you still file a tax return even if you're even if you lose money on your business, you still need to file a tax return. Importantly, it's also still matters very much that you fill out your tax return accurately, even if you're at a loss. You could still make mistakes, even though your business is not profitable. You could still potentially get audited, even if you didn't make money with your business, if you try to claim large deductions that are not accurate or not real. This is true. You have a significant income outside of your LLC, but you take a loss inside of your LLC. This could cause a red flag. So we just want to make sure that the tax return is being done correctly. Now, another question that many multi-member LLC owners have is how frequently should they pay themselves? If you are paying yourself with an owner's draw, you do not have to pay yourself in set intervals. OK, so, for example, you don't have to pay yourself once a week or once every two weeks, once a month. You can pay yourself whenever you want, as long as you do not withdraw more money from the business account than you are entitled to from your ownership percentage. So if you're going to pay yourself with a guaranteed payment, you need to make sure that you pay yourself according to the specific terms that have been outlined in the operating agreement, which I know you're going to outline because we've already discussed. That. This will vary, guys, from LLC to LLC. And in many cases, it will actually be in set intervals. For example, your LLC operating agreement could instruct you to pay yourself $10,000 a month as a guaranteed payment. But if you and the LLC members of your LLC want to change the intervals for your guaranteed payments, you will all have to come to an agreement about it and stick to the new agreement to prevent litigation from occurring. Partnerships are very important to get right. Is there a requirement to pay yourself a salary out of a partnership? No, you definitely don't have to pay yourself a salary if you are a multi-member LLC. Now, you can take all of your payments in the form of owner's draw or guaranteed payments, or you could choose to switch your LLC to an S Corp and take a salary. However, one day, if you do decide to upgrade your LLC to an S Corp, then you would have to pay yourself a salary based on reasonable compensation. Uh, okay. Oh, God. The owners of S Corps are required by the IRS to pay themselves a reasonable compensation for their specific industry. In my office, we always recommend that S Corp owners pay themselves a minimum 30% of their overall net income, any lower than this, and you're risking being audited by the EDD. Now, if the IRS decides that you did not pay yourself a reasonable salary and that the salary you paid yourself was too low, but as long as you are only an owner of the LLC and not an S Corp, you won't have to worry about this. So here's the golden nugget I wanted to give you guys. We have reached the end of this video, and as promised, it's time for me to reveal this one piece of information that could help you as a multi-member LLC, and here it is. You cannot expect your initial operating agreement to last forever or to act perfectly indefinitely, okay? That's what I want you to know. Businesses change, they grow, they shrink, members join, members leave, arguments happen, the ownership and payment structure that you started out with might not work anymore after four or five years of being in business operations. So my golden nugget to you is to have a meeting once a year to upgrade your operating agreement. This is my tip to you. Don't be afraid to do this. In order to make sure that you're protecting yourself, protecting your business owners, this is something that you should be doing. You can amend your LLC operating agreement whenever you want to. You will need to get approval from all of the members and they will need to sign off on it. But this can be done every single year as a part of how your business operates. So keep this in mind before you make changes. But updating an operating agreement can do a world of good in terms of preventing lawsuits and making sure that the owners of the LLC remain content with the payment structure for the business. Now, that's all for today's video. What I love for you guys to do is if you're interested in working with me and my team on finding real estate to reduce your overall tax bill, feel free to click on the link below to our training. I also would love for you to schedule a consultation with my team so we can learn more about structuring your LLC to help you save money on taxes. That's all for this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers.